the Mesozoic era lasted from 252 to 66 million years ago. Mesozoic means middle life, and this is commonly referred to as the age of the dinosaurs, or the reptiles. This era is divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. Each of these periods has unique geology, dinosaurs, and other cool animals. Let's get started. During the Triassic period, the world was just recovering from the worst mass extinction event in history, the Great Dying. This happened at the end of the Permian period and killed 96% of all life on Earth. Those who managed to survive had to adapt to a warmer and drier climate. During the Triassic period, all of the world's continents were joined together in one big supercontinent known as Pangaea. This caused the coastal regions of the world to be wetter and have more life, whereas the interior of the landmass got little to no rain. Here, there was almost no life at all, but some animals made it through. One such animal was the Eoraptor, the first dinosaur. This little theropod dinosaur was an omnivore and ate small lizards and mammals as well as some plant material. One trait that set it apart from its archosaur ancestors is the ability to stand bipedally with its legs directly underneath its body. Another small meat-eating dinosaur was a Coelophysis. This carnivore relied on their speed and agility to catch a variety of animals like insects and small reptiles. The sharp teeth and grasping claws of Coelophysis would have helped them to hold and kill their food. There were other dinosaurs than just meat-eaters, however, as a Platysaurus was an early form of sauropod called a prosauropod. This group of dinosaurs would later evolve into the giants like Brachiosaurus and Apatosaurus. But for now, they remained smaller. Platysaurus could also stand on its hind legs to reach food at the tops of tall trees. Other than the dinosaurs, there was a variety of other animals that lived during the Triassic period, such as the massive Postosuchus. This large crocodilian ancestor was at the top of the food chain. There was also the small flying reptiles called pterosaurs that evolved at the beginning of this period. And there were also the small mammals, the first true mammals, actually evolved during this period. And this concludes the Triassic period, time for the Jurassic. The Jurassic period, second of the three periods of the Mesozoic era, extending from 201 million to 145 million years ago, is known as the Golden Age of Dinosaurs. This period saw the rise of some of the largest creatures ever to walk our planet. During the Jurassic period, Pangaea had begun to break up. The land masses were grouped into a northern region, Laurasia, consisting of North America and Eurasia, and a southern region, Gondwana, consisting of South America, Africa, India, Antarctica, and Australia. These two regions were separated by a tropical seaway. This more broken up landmass allowed for rain to reach the interior of the continents and provided a much more lush and biologically diverse world. As I said before, this was the golden age of dinosaurs. There were between 2 billion and 4 billion dinosaurs in the world at any given time during the Jurassic period. Some of the most famous dinosaurs include the Allosaurus, one of the first large meat-eating dinosaurs and one of the top predators during this time, the Diplodocus, one of the longest dinosaurs ever, and the Stegosaurus are a newer branch of dinosaurs that evolved large bony plates and sharp tail spikes to aid in protection from large predators like Allosaurus. Besides the massive dinosaurs, the first birds also evolved during this time period. Birds are the only surviving branch of the dinosaur tree, and the first birds were Archaeopteryx. This small dinosaur would climb trees and then use its feathers to help to glide down and catch bugs in the air. Other creatures that weren't dinosaurs included marine reptiles like Ichthyosaurus, which resembled fish, pterosaurs grew larger, and mammals also began to grow larger as well. Next, we head to the Cretaceous period. The world during the Cretaceous period began to resemble ours in many ways. The continents were close to their modern positions, and climate was more distributed. The poles were cold, and the equator hot. This was not the only way that the world resembled our own. Some of the most common dinosaurs from the Cretaceous period include the Tyrannosaurus rex. This is by far the most popular dinosaur and is one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs ever. The Triceratops. Ceratopsians are another new way that dinosaurs evolved during the Cretaceous. These dinosaurs had horns on their faces and large frills on their necks. Hadrosaur dinosaurs became very populous during the late Cretaceous period. They fed mainly on plants and were sometimes called the cows of the Cretaceous. Some species even grew beautiful crests on their heads, which they used to make trumpet-like sounds. And during this period, more dinosaurs grew feathers, while most of them could not fly, but they could also use them for display and to keep warm in this colder climate. 
Another new class of dinosaurs also evolved during the Cretaceous, the Ankylosaurs. Like the Stegosaurs of the Jurassic, they were heavily armored. They also had a bony club on the end of their tail, and their back was a bunch of fused plates, making them a literal walking tank. But as I said, the Cretaceous world was very much like our own. Modern birds have evolved. From small songbirds to ducks, birds now rule the skies. The pterosaurs are now fewer, but the ones that still exist are massive. Quetzalcoatlus was the size of a jet airplane. The mammals have also diversified. They are no longer the small, shrew-like critters they once were. There are now carnivorous mammals the size of cats that eat small dinosaurs, and even the first marsupials evolved during the Cretaceous as well as the first primates. The sea reptiles are numerous and plesiosaurs are among the most dominant. But sadly, all of this biodiversity has to come to an end. A massive asteroid 10 to 15 kilometers wide was heading straight for Earth. This space rock hit in what is now the Gulf of Mexico, and anything within 150 kilometers was instantly vaporized. This caused burning hot debris to fall back to Earth and soot and dust settled in the atmosphere for years, causing a nuclear winter. The impact also called worldwide tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes. This was the end for the non-avian dinosaurs and many other creatures, but their avian cousins, the birds, survived, along with many other animals. And they would someday take over the world. <laughs>